Oh, what an adventure! <laughs> Get lost with Google Maps. Good morning. All right, we got in the sun. I'm just hoping I don't get any rain before I finish this quick test. Um, I haven't got the fridge and freezers in yet. I got this here stainless steel cooker. It hasn't got a flat bottom on it. It is magnetic, so it should work, but it hasn't got a flat bottom on it. So we'll see what happens. Uh, currently, we're putting 16 amps still into the batteries. Um, so that's from the solar. Now, according to the book here, okay, that's uh, the code. I'm gonna run it on number seven, 1500 watts. Um, if I want it to go any more than that I've got to increase my fusing but 1500 watts should be okay okay I don't know if you can see that water in there but that's full alright I don't know what that holds I think it's about a 3 litre or a 2.5 litre something in that kettle um, I'm not sure, it might only be 2 litres, but it is a pretty big kettle. Alright, so what I do is, I come over here, oh by the way you can see that, well, that's a double pole. What I do is I come over here and we turn the inverter on. Should be on, I can't see the green light, but it should be there. Turn the cooker on. Alright, yeah, it's got a child lock on, so we'll take the child lock off. One, two, three. Uh, we've got to put this on. And we go to seven, two, three, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. So that should be 1500 watts. So the batteries drop down in volts. They're consuming amps now. Let's go back to the charge controller. Oh, the time, by the way, is 9.48. You can see that up the top there. Okay, so the, the panel on the trailer is still bringing in 18 amps. It hasn't changed, so it was already doing maximum. Let's uh, have a look what the BMV 702 is doing. Okay, so we're down minus 5 amp hours. This is out of a 200 amp hour bank. Um, a true 200 amp hour bank. Now that's measuring the temperature at the shunt because um, otherwise if I put it on one battery it only measures one battery. Um, and when I turn the batteries off, it's still sucking juice out of that one battery. So I've actually moved that to the shunt temperature. So the temperature at the shunt is 40 degrees Celsius. So what this is measuring is what's coming out of the battery. Um, and you've got to add on top of that the power from the solar panels. Because um, they actually, um, they, they don't go through the shunt. The shunt only measures what goes in and out of the battery. 
and the solar panels are, of course are on the um, power are on the uh, trailer side of that shunt not the battery side of the shunt otherwise I couldn't measure them so we're currently taking out 105 amps from the batteries plus whatever the solar panels are giving us alright and it's a really windy day today I don't know if you can tell have a look at the trees over there you can see it's a really 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 windy day out here we're expecting thunderstorms and bad weather all week so I wanted to get this test done out of the way now I don't know if you can hear that now that is really getting hot in there it's almost boiled that's a lot of water eh well that cattle works quite good I didn't think it would because it hasn't got a flat bottom I actually have ordered another one that also holds around two litres uh, the fans for the inverter have only just kicked on only just kicked on so that means the inside temperature of the, of the inverter just reached 40 degrees celsius wherever they've got their temperature sensors at probably near the the, the MOSFET or the um, capacitors so we're taking 13 amp hours out of a 200 amp hour bank I think that's boiling. Oh geez, it's close. Yep, that's reached the rolling boil in there now. See that? Okay, so we'll take that off. And once you take that, once you lift the pot off. Now what we do here is we push stop, but we've still got to leave it turned on because this has got a fan in it to cool it down the top of this. I mean, it's, it's cool, but once you get over here to where the heat is, it's still quite hot, okay? It's still quite hot over and around here. So um, the book says leave it plugged in and, let, and on and let the fan cool it down. Because you can see it's got a fan in the back of it there. Okay, so that took a total. We're putting... Um, that took a total of... Um, 17 amp hours out of the battery and it's a cloudy day we're already recovering by the way you can see we're now putting 11.4 amps back in so you've got a 200 amp hour battery i've just taken 16 amp hours out boiling two to two and a half liters of water i don't know it should be on the bottom there somewhere i don't know um and it works it all works so you could i mean you, you wouldn't boil that much just for a cuppa this was just for a test but it didn't take long there's the timer and i wasn't even on full i was only on um 1500 watt setting which was where is it in the book Sorry, where is it in the book? So I was only on position 7, which is the 1500 watt setting. 
Um, yeah, all right, I'm happy with that. All right, we'll just let it cool down, let the batteries charge back up again, and I'll put it away. I'm going to call that test very successful. Very, very successful. Um, the BMV, the, 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 the shunt temperature ended on 42C. We're pulling out that many amps. And it's going down back to normal temperature again. Um, that gives me a good indicator of my wire temperature too, by the way. All right. I think that's successful. I think I can put the trailer back together again. I think I can put the fridge and freezers and everything in. We'll see. Okay, that's it. Hope you enjoyed that little video. Um, I know the more technically, technically minded us of, us of us will. But... Uh, yeah, as long as you're getting sunshine with two 100 amp hour lithium batteries, I think you could live LPG free um, while camping. Alright, keep safe everyone. Bye for now.